I have a philosophy and it's that incredible photographers aren't really incredible photographers. They're good photographers. They're photographers that know how to use a camera. They go incredible places. I spent a year traveling through Asia as an English teacher, and from my time there, I was able to capture the culture and landscapes of South Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and a month in New Zealand as well. I try my best to make my life extraordinary and bring my camera along with me. Jeff has chosen to really celebrate his work, so we're going to have an event around it and uh, make this more of a party celebrating Jeff's work and uh, introducing Jeff as a, a new artist here in town. I think Jeff has a, such an interesting style and puts so much time into every one of the photos that he takes that um, whenever I see those I just really know it's the essence of Jeff. He's one of the most hardworking people that I've ever met and has more energy and passion. When he took that photo he was in his true element and essence and so happy and I think it shows through in the pictures. What really does it for me is getting a backpack on, using my body, hiking out to a trail with some great friends. It's not all about the photography, it's about, it's about the trip. It's about the experience and sharing that with the people I go with. You share that photo and your best friends are there with you for it. And it's not just a photo, it's a memory. It's really exciting. I'm, I've been more nervous about this event than him, I feel like. <laughs> overall just because I feel so invested in it too. Kim had a couple of nights she woke up like oh my god has Jeff thought of this and this and this um, so I'm sure they were a little nervous because it was a big big thing to pull off and a lot of people coming. Cutting my work down and being it was the most critical I've ever had to, had to been with my work that I've shot for five years and to cut that down to 80 photos that was a lot of work. Today we've been really lucky with 80 photographs to have lots of, um, of helping hands. You'll see um, all of the most beautiful landscapes that the whole country has to offer and then cityscapes from the west then will mirror the cityscapes from the east and you get kind of this whole globalized feel and, uh, and it really comes together. They're both amazing. <laughs> and I'm just happy to have been invited. It's good for you, Jeff Perry. It's going great. We have a really good turnout. And I've already sold a couple friends. I'm getting really good reviews. People are just like walking in, they're saying they're blown away. It's going so amazing. I'm way better than I ever could have imagined. There's so many people here. People just came off the streets and found this in the newspaper, in the Denver Post. The event is lovely. Yeah, Got my and it's in so here. great to have all of these pictures and photographs and everything on the walls right now. Yes, After it's been a all of the yes. Pro yes, it's quite the process. <laughs> Biggest thing for the future for me is building the portfolio. I want to get back to Asia. I want to do South America. Africa is starting to interest me a little bit. I want to bring attention to places in the world that people haven't been and people haven't seen. I'm planning on literally making that my life, that going to work is going to be going on a trek to Machu Picchu. Going to work is going to be exploring, you know, Mayan ruins or Banff National Park in Canada or trekking to Everest Base Camp and all that's going to be uh, part of work eventually.